Incredible great news tonight as stimulus is coming. Finally coming. Oh my goodness. Stimulus checks remains the focus of a lot of people and this channel as the push, push, push of the purple power of the followers of this channel to get that CARES Act 1 money repurposed for stimulus. Get it out and get the problem solvers reduced so that Mitch can agree upon it. Joe wants you to have stimulus and now he's saying stimulus checks until so needed. Well, we need them right now. It was a, such a big discussion that I had to take the discussion somewhere and I went to the casino. I saw Sir Lloyd and he looked very upset. I said, Sir Lloyd, what's wrong? He says, they heard, I heard from the herd that the casino may go on lockdown. I said, on lockdown? What are you gonna do? I'm a cow, I don't go on lockdown, I just run for it. <laughs> I'm like, you know, this is just unfortunate. I mean, where are you gonna get everything you need? Well, you know, a cow, I'll have to, you know, find a new person to get lobster bills from. I'll have to, you know, search around for new pot bells. <laughs> Maybe AOC can help me with that. Uh, I said, well, how about uh, getting your hair done? <laughs> Dal, about getting your new hairstyle done? Oh, well, uh, I'm not that so desperate to go to a San Francisco hairstyle. Hey, good evening, everybody. It's LA Light, and boy, it is a great night. I'm so excited for you. It's a Tuesday evening here on the West Coast, and uh, it's been cold. It's been cold. Uh, the toast should be toasty, and the coffee should be brewing, because it's darn friggin' cold. Uh, and you've seen why I've been inside today, so hope you are warmer than I have been. What's the temperature where you are? Uh, drop in the comments below. I love to see the temperature, because I'm just, you know, uh, we're freezing to death if we're 50 degrees here in Los Angeles. If it's 50 degrees, we just die. I mean, just... <laughs> uh, so needless to say, uh, you know, uh, you'll see me as an icicle at, at 49 degrees. If you've not subscribed to this channel, please do, because we're going to get through this pandemic together, and we're going to push to the finish line. And you see me going live, going tape, going live, going tape. Minutes ago, I just went live for Purple Power, uh, and earlier today, I went live on Stream Simulus, so I'm throwing it up, surprising you by the minute. Also, like this video. video. It helps because it puts the video higher in the rankings. In this video, I'll be going over the check, the check amount the routing times, the issue about SSI, the issue about EIDL, the issue about student loan debt, and the issue about mortgage forbearance and student and uh, rent eviction moratorium. Real exciting, great news. If you miss Purple Power right before this, I go over hazard pay a lot. So I'm going to leave that for that video. All right, let's get to the breaking news. The breaking news as you start this evening is that Wall Street, Joe and Mitch all want you to have stimulus and they want you to have it right now. They don't want you to wait. They want you to get it right now. And the fastest thing you can get right now is stimulus checks and that SSI supplement that Joe is proposing. Let's go over the stimulus checks. You know, we have seen so many versions of this, and ultimately, you know what we're pushing for. Let's talk about us first, and then we'll talk about the the, <laughs> the income poops. Uh, what we're pushing for is that CARES Act 1 money that's sitting around that can be repurposed for stimulus checks. It's at SBA, it's unused PPP money from the CARES Act 1 that may amount to upwards of about $800 billion. We know it's somewhere far in excess of 500, but my accounting has put about $800 billion. That would amount to about a $5,000 stimulus check. To repurpose that as stimulus checks is incredibly important because what that does is one, it doesn't run up the national debt. It doesn't cost the government anything to use money that has been unused, that has already been expended. It's the equivalent of you going to a store and buying something for yourself. You decide you don't want to use it for yourself. You give it to someone else. It didn't cost and it didn't cost twice to buy the item. You only bought it once. And so what's important to understand is that the stimulus money absolutely is so important because you're owed stimulus checks for a very long time. Under CARES Act 1, you are supposed to get multiple stimulus checks. 
March, April, May. The original version of the CARES Act 1 had a stimulus check for three months, a check every month for $1,200, 1200 1200 $1,200. So what happened? Well, even though we knew the pandemic was going to put us on a lockdown for three months, because at that time, the announcements of what lockdowns had already been announced, legislators thought, oh, you know, we'll be cute. We'll take out the other two checks and we'll get to it later. Ultimately, the most forbidden words that through this entire pandemic from congressional leaders have been, we will get to it later. They have never gotten to anything later, and they've consistently just forgotten the fact that they had something on their to-do list when it comes to you. Come by April, they were back ready to draft a new second stimulus package. This would be the next round of stimulus for you. And by May, it was written. And guess what? They didn't have the, the two checks in there they took out. Yes, they did not have those two checks. Well, we just sort of forgot about them. Oh, really? And so then by May, they were writing for one stimulus check. And that stimulus check was to cover you for what? It's hard to figure out what it was to cover you for, because ultimately by May, we knew the, the, the pandemic was not going away. There was no vaccine in May, and unemployment was out of control. And so when VP-elect Harris appeared on Chris Hayes on MSNBC's and spoke about the situation, she said $1,200 isn't anything. $1,200 doesn't pay for anything. It doesn't pay for anything if you make less than $35,000 a year, and it doesn't pay for enough if you make less than $80,000 a year. It's not enough money. That was her exact word. It's not enough money. So what she and Senator Sanders wrote co-authored with Ed Markey, who is ironically a very important person, more about him in a second, they wrote a bill, and the bill was $2,000 a month for six months until the pandemic goes away or unemployment goes down. Well, she said you need to check every month. Ed Markey, now, is very critically important because he was singularly the most important voice on Friday when he said it's Joe Biden and Mitch who are going to negotiate for stimulus. It's not going to be, you know. And so <laughs> he knows exactly what's going on. And so as the pandemic raged on, you were supposed to get multiple stimulus checks. Come the fall, guess what the Temple Doom did? She not only did she not only didn't give you multiple stimulus checks, but when presented a plan, the problem solvers bill that was to give you multiple stimulus checks, two stimulus checks, she said, you know what, I don't like that. That's Republican-ish. I'm so sorry, but when did it become Republican-ish to give two stimulus checks? Then what she did with her bill is she actually went backwards. Instead of giving you twelve hundred dollars for the month of May or April when she wrote her bill, now in October, she said, you know what? From April to October, I'm not even going to give you $1,200. Now I'll give you $1,000 because you know what? I don't like your YouTube recordings <laughs> or something like that. I don't know why she did that. I just, to this day, I don't understand why she went backwards. She cut money so that she'd give more money to Andrew Gavin. I just don't understand it. So the great news is that Joe Biden is the chief negotiator for the Democrats, and he's not having this. He's just not having this. And he said in the transition statements over the weekend, we will be doing stimulus checks like a like a snake. S S S S S S. Okay, just a lot of S's, like you know. Oh, check 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 check. Until so needed. Hmm. This is incredible great news. This is incredible great news. And so Joe Biden wants that stimulus checks to go out as so needed. What's important to understand is that Wall Street, you, Joe, um, and everyone involved understands that the stimulus checks are not going to not be sent because there's a vaccine now. The vaccine means nothing about your stimulus checks. I've gotten questions from viewers saying, oh my God, now there's a vaccine now and not getting a stimulus check? No. Oh my God, now there's an SSI $200 per month suggestion that goes on top of my normal uh, benefits. Uh, that means I'm not going to get a stimulus check? No. Oh my God, there's... <laughs> Oh my God, she changed her hairstyle. Do I? Does that mean I'm not going to stimulus check? Yeah, probably, because she spent her your stimulus check on her hairstyle. <laughs> I just don't. Just kidding there. Uh, so what's important to understand is you get is that the stimulus check is front and center. 
Now, there is a lot that you have to always remember with this channel, and you never want to forget, but you also don't want past to repeat future. And what do I mean? You know, um, we dealt so many months with the Temple of Doom doing things that were bad, incorrect, just just wrong. And as, as we slowly got away from her, then we understood, okay, she's not defining our future. Now some people want to look back on the worst hours of Mitch McConnell and say, oh, Mitch McConnell did this. Oh, Mitch McConnell did that. It doesn't serve any purpose. It doesn't serve any purpose because Mitch McConnell clearly has two personalities. Uh, did I say that? Yeah. Uh, the Mitch McConnell may said he would never give you unemployment benefits. And then just two weeks later, he gave you unemployment benefits. I was not the only one that thought that was strange at the time. In fact, it was broadcast news as front page article at the time. Why is the guy who said Americans should not get unemployment benefits, they're getting rich on it, suddenly give you unemployment benefits? He tends to play that, you know, uh, two sides of the lobster game. <laughs> Uh, so let's turn to routing times. Routing times. If it became a law, you could get the stimulus check within 10 days. 10 days if you're signed up for electronic receipt for SSDI, SSI, and Social Security or railroad benefits. This is incredibly great news because you need the stimulus check now. So you would count 10 days from when it becomes a law. 13 days if you need more time for processing time for your bank. And if you're not signed up for anything electronic between you and the IRS, then you would make it, uh, you know, th then you would add an additional week on top of it. All incredible great news. Next, the SSI thing. Boy, that's so exciting. Viewers are so excited about it. I am too. SSI, $200 additional per month from uh, from now until the end of 2021. This is incredible great news. And ultimately, what I want you to understand, and I, I say it in every recording, but I'll say it again. What Because something's being proposed does not mean it cancels out something else. Okay, I'm worried that because of this, I'm not going to get a stimulus check. Or I'm worried I got the stimulus check. I'm, it disqualified. Why are you worried? Did someone tell you to be worried? <laughs> Did you watch a horror movie last night? Don't be worried. When they say to be worried, they'll then you worry. Of this entire pandemic, the only time that anything has ever seen to cancel out each other is PPP. The drafters that PPP wanted to cancel out everything. Next, EIDL grants coming back, baby. And what's important to understand is... Uh, you know, I could make a thousand recordings about the remainder of your $10,000 EIDL grant. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I could. But guess what? Guess who's gone in a few weeks? <laughs> well, you know, Javita, Car Javita Late's going to need a new gig. Maybe she'll get a new talk show on this channel. Uh, but yeah, Javita Late is, you know, the scarf caper is up in a few weeks. And so will the remainder of the $10,000 grant be paid to you? When a new Javier Lake comes in that doesn't like scarves, <laughs> let's see that quickly. Student debt repayment. Uh, there would be a moratorium on, there would be a forgiveness on student debt. Not a moratorium, but a forgiveness. Currently, there is a student debt moratorium under executive order for repaying back student debt, but imagine a forgiveness. That's also proposed by the Biden administration. Next, loan and debt, uh, uh, excuse me, uh, uh, mor eviction moratorium and mortgage forbearance. Those are both expiring in December. The proposals to continue this as well. And finally, unemployment. In the live chat, a stream of stimulus, I went over that. I'm not going to go over that too much more in here. But the incredible great news is that unemployment benefits need to be extended. FPUC. Uh, expired in July, PUA expired in a few weeks, FPEUC expired in a few weeks, and Mitch wants to get this done. He categorically wants to get this down. Joe wants to get this done. I want it to get done. So let me answer some incredible questions and comments from last night's recording. Nanita Church, they need to allocate the money from the CARES Act and give it to the people that are struggling right now. Thanks! Exclamation point. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly, Anita has been watching this channel. Thank you for the great comment, Anita. Gail Little, I pray this is going not going to be broken promises. Anita, they need to stop talking and do it. Felipe, we all need it. Uh, Paul Gonzalez, when are they going to start sending it? Sharon, when will they all start? We when they all go start doing it. Heather, uh, Trudy, they need to do this before New Year's. That's exactly what the head of uh, McDonald's said today. Barbara, uh, w uh, uh, get it sent. Aliyah, um, 
uh, David, they're feeling a, a lots of feeling, good juice. How and when? Like my grandma, you said you never, you know, it's a cow pasture. <laughs> okay, Captain Crunch. They was on the Senate floor talking today about something else. Um, okay, James Freed. Uh, I wouldn't put. Uh, <laughs> I can't say it on camera. Christina. Uh, when will this start for us on SSI? It should be this month or next month because of the holidays. Negra. Um, oh, with the same question from before. Alonas, Papas, Purple Power. Let's get this going. Lynn. Well, um, Congress has been saying that, and hence the future is what Congress has said before. That's what we don't do on this channel. Joanne. Uh, we need it now. We do need it now. Anita. Anitha. Sounds all great. Robbing Peter to pay Paul. I don't know what that means. <laughs> Tuna T. Oh, what a great screen name. Tuna T. Uh, they got to give it right now. If you have questions or comments today's video, drop in them in the comments below. I might feature them in tomorrow's recording. It's an incredible evening. I'm just so excited. And I'm really excited that everyone has renewed focus on getting this out. The important is getting it out and getting it out now. Not getting it out later. Getting the top priority that Mitch McConnell says is stimulus top priority in the top legislation to get out is stimulus and with that type of focus we got to push 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 you need to be on social media share these videos tag the political leaders say hey get the stimulus out you need to make sure that they get the message loud and clear ultimately there's a lot of things at stake and they need to hear from you and with that join me tomorrow morning at 6 a.m eastern stand time for Early morning LL lights. More updates then as well. Followed at 6.30 with part two. As always, stay informed. Oh, I forgot to say this. Also, go to the front of the channel, subscribe. Subscribe because you're going to have to follow me. I mean, you know, don't follow too close. Just follow close enough. <laughs> And I also like this video. Coming up tomorrow morning is early morning to LA. As always, stay informed, stay smiling, and stay at LA for more.